hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel oh my god guys welcome back long time no talk um today's video is the pack and prep for new york it feels nuts to say that you guys don't even know we're going to new york yet you guys don't even know we're going away for a month yet like it's all very hush 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 but yes we are going to new york for a whole month actually longer than a month i think it's like a month and a week so it's gonna be nuts i feel like i've not gone away for a month for so long like obviously last time we did that was january for milan like i feel like it's just been so long since we did it and i'm so excited like i'm so excited it has been quite stressful though because we had a massive issue with our airbnb oh my god guys we booked our airbnb back in like august like we booked it ages ago and bear in mind like it's a week till we go um today is sunday we go friday so actually less than a week and the other day the airbnb um woman messaged grace being like just to let you know the airbnb is no longer available and we were like excuse me excuse me but yeah and then grace was like i'm not ringing her so i had to ring her and basically we managed to get another airbnb from the same woman but the first three days in new york we are actually going to stay at a hotel originally we were staying the airbnb but now it's not valid whatever whatever so basically we're staying in a hotel for three days and then we've got an airbnb but it's a different airbnb but whatever whatever <laughs> so this is like the most clothes i've ever bought for a trip i did just get a package from vinted Oh my god guys, this isn't vintage, this is actually Depop, the only thing I bought off Depop. Oh my god, she sent me a sweet. <gasps> this is all stuff I bought for New York. Um, so all of this is new. Um, and stuff I've had for like a couple weeks that I've kind of been like collecting. No photos please. Toiletries in New York I've heard are like really, really expensive. So I just wanted to buy like all my shampoos and stuff like that also some snacks for the plane then i have a scarf in here and socks and knickers this is all the clothes guys you guys are gonna think i'm crazy because of how much i have in here are some other clothes all new that i'm keeping then we have this dress which you guys just saw me open i have a jumpsuit here from nadine Merriby. they have been amazing and they also sent me a dress here and then I have stuff I'm returning from Zara. Guys, I bought these Zara coats. Oh my God, I literally feel so scammed. They were 120 pounds. I bought two of them, which might sound a bit weird because I wasn't sure on my sizing. They are the thinnest coats I have ever tried on. Like, the th like literally made of like paper. For 120 pounds, I think not. So I'm very excited to send them back. Okay guys, I got this really cool dress from this girl off Depop. I'm obsessed with dresses that are like, have nude people on them. And it's got a bum on the other side. Let's prepare for New York because I'm so unorganized and we have three days. I feel like it's so on brand for me to start these videos just looking just like trash. Like I don't think I've ever looked worse to be honest. We're gonna have a glow up in this video. We're gonna pack in this video. We're gonna, just organize my life. I'm gonna uproot my life into two suitcases in this video. Today we're packing for New York and this video is gonna be like me getting my lashes done and Grace getting her, she's dyeing her brows and I keep telling her not to, but she wants to. <laughs> just pampering and packing. Oh, I'm honestly just in a bit of a, a daze because I feel like I have so much to do in so little time, but I currently have my two suitcases in front of me. There's only one thing in it at the moment, and that's most important. Tea bags, because I'm English in New York and I need I need tea bags. Um, I'm gonna pack some cereal bars as well. These are really good, I get these in Poundland. And they're just like a little treat, like a little guilt-free snack. This rack has a few things I'm bringing, and then I've got loads of clothes hung outside my wardrobe as well um i've also prepared like piles so i've got pajamas gym kits bras and knickers more knickers and the duffel is just 
there looking empty but today i've got oh actually it's monday and i'm leaving on friday so i have actually got ages but i'm gonna start packing like the basic things and then we're gonna work our way up so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have this suitcase be shoes well this is what i did for paris anyway i'm gonna have this suitcase over here with shoes um electronics and yeah pretty much just shoes and electronics and just random things makeup bag and stuff and then this bag i'm gonna have this half be evening wear this half be day wear just to keep them separate so i know what's going on and i'll put pajamas in this one and knickers in this one. Oh, and coats oh my god that's another stress like how am i supposed to choose what coats to wear okay we've started with knitwear because i feel like I don't know, I just thought we're going to start with knitwear. So, I've got this jumper. I've got this grey jumper and skirt set. I've got this beige jumper that has a collar. And I'm really glad I kept this because Molly May has it. And then I've got this one with the navy stripe. The delusion actually is ridiculous because I thought I'd be able to bring all of these as well. Um, so I've had to narrow it down to these. Because I've thought, well I don't really need a grey cardigan if I've got a grey jumper. And then I've got too many cream sweaters. I thought I prefer the one with the beige collar. And then this is just like a sweater vest. But again, I've got too much cream. So if I have any room at the end, which <laughs> is wishful thinking, then maybe some of this could be put in here. But let's be real. There's not going to be room. <laughs> I'm now just going to pack some basics. So I'm going to pack my jeans. I'm going to pack suit pants. And then I've put in a shirt and a t-shirt. Just like staple wardrobe basics okay so this side is packed but like i can't even zip this up so i'm thinking and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take it all out and roll it but these are just wardrobe basics so like just plain things <laughs> so god knows how i'm gonna fit all of this in to be honest okay so update i rolled everything and then i've put these jumpers on top to be honest it's not made that much of a difference i think it's turned out the same but the actual rolling like it does make it Actually, it has made a difference because I've added more things. Okay, I'm going to roll the rest of my stuff. I always thought rolling clothes was just what people said made room, but I didn't actually believe it, but I actually think it does make room. So if you're packing, roll, definitely. Okay, guys, so I just got back from the post office. I forgot to, like, tell you guys one of the main things I'm doing for New York. Oh, my God, guys, I'm bleaching my eyebrows for New York. Um... I don't know how like I forgot to say that because it's probably like one of the most major things I'm doing looks wise for New York. How cute is that coat by the way and skirt. But yeah, I now have floor space. I just thought I'd show you guys a few bits that I have picked up. But I've got this necklace from Urban Outfitters, which I am obsessed with. Also, how cute are these boots that I got sent from H&M? I got this jacket jumper which i feel like is very new york red and black and then the back of it has all stars on it i think it's so cool the only thing is is it's very heavy so i'm gonna have to see if i can pack that then i got this top which to be honest i liked it more online so i don't know why i'm really obsessed with like dresses with like the body on or tops with like boobs on i don't know i just love it then i got this set because i thought it'd be a really cool pick with a like yellow taxi it is yellow jacket kind of situation or oh, i might actually just wear that as a top and then the last thing i got from jd london is something i've been needing to get for a while and it's just some, a pair of black cargoes you guys know i live in cargoes and i know i'm going to be living in cargoes even more in new york because they're such a new york thing also another thing i'm doing for new york is i'm contemplating 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 the idea of getting a tattoo um a martini tattoo is i got three temporary martini tattoos off of etsy i wanted to like you know trial it but i'm definitely not going to get this location if i get it because 
it's made me realize I actually really don't like like my arms are the thing I hate the most about my body and this just like accentuates my arms so I'm definitely not going to be getting it in this location the next one I'm going to try is here and I'm not sure maybe my ribs for the third one I'm going to pack my evening outfits now the time is like getting closer and closer I've got two days like officially two days um, so I'm trying to do it bit by bit I'm going to pack my evening clothes I might prop you up somewhere um, let's see if I can balance you in between my suitcases because the tripod's like too tall for yeah that's alright that works okay I have this Paco Raban top to pack this is going to take up so much weight I also don't know what to do because apparently we can bring two suitcases on the flight. Like I could bring my duffel and a wheelie case. The website Grace sent me, it says you can bring two on a Virgin flight. And then on the website I found, it said you can only bring one. So I don't know what to do. Because that would be so ideal if I can bring two because I could literally pack the wheelie case just full of shoes and then I've got so much more room for clothes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to look into that tonight as well. I just want to get my evening looks packed because i feel like they need to be packed it's like the next step i've got my valentino dress which i think is my birthday gown like i think this will be my birthday dress because it's so gossip girl so i'm gonna pack that um oh do i roll it i forgot i was doing the rolling thing it feels wrong rolling clothes but Apparently it actually makes them crease less as well. So got this beautiful maize dress. I also need to decide on my coats as well. Like I have a couple that are definite, but I need to try them on and like, I, I'm gonna have to be selective because in a dream world, I'd bring like all of my coats, but that's like 10 coats and that obviously can't happen. And I really want to bring my trench coat, but I'm like, is there actually any point bringing a trench coat? Because it's going to be freezing. <laughs> but I also love my trench coat, so I think I'm going to bring it. Like, I know it's cold in New York, but is it cold in November? Because London's cold. But, like, the start of November is never normally, like, end of October. Like, at the minute in London, it's actually not that freezing. So if it's, if it's anything like London... Oh, I've got to show you this dress. I've got another maize dress. It's like a tutu. Um, so yeah, I don't really know how cold it actually is, but I'm just thinking I want to bring my trench because they're actually really good for like, um, if you go clubbing. It sounds weird, but me and Grace always wear our trenches over like a dress for dinner. Let's pack this next. This is my self-portrait dress. She's definitely coming because look how gossip girl. I think I'm actually going to have to pay the weight of things as well. So, I'm not looking forward to that. I've got this, I've got this little skirt from uh, Adult Stories. We've got these beautiful sets from Nadine Murabi. So this one is a trouser and a blazer set. And then I have this jumpsuit, which is gorgeous. You know what? I'm really proud of my rolling skills. Look at this. It just looks perfect. Oh, and this is the current situation of this room. Like, it's actually been taken over by my clothes. Um, this is the rolled situation. It's an organised mess. And then these are my potential shoes. Um, they're my potential coats. And then these are my potential boots. <laughs> this room has just been taken over. Good morning, guys. It is... What day is it today? Wednesday. Wednesday. And we're going to go to Lakeside today because I still have a few bits to buy. So I'm literally just wearing this massive bomber jacket, which I'm actually bringing. <laughs> Do you know what I'm wearing? Which I'm actually bringing to New York. Okay, guys, we're in Lakeside. I have bought a few bits. I bought a coat. I bought a bag. I bought a top. I bought a Christmas wreath. Emma bought a weird no, Christmas no. wreath that she'll never use again. No, I get my ball. But I'll do a big haul when I get home. But it's actually going well. Pull and Bear. looking good. Pull and Bear's been the one because I've been spending like. I've been getting some wintry coats off of ASOS for like 80 quid and I found a really good one from Pin and Bear for 30 so I'm really chuffed with myself but yeah I'll show you them when I get back I thought I would just quickly show you what I got I got a dressing gown from Primark for £9 
because it's always something i regret not bringing like this was my biggest regret when i went to paris is i didn't bring a dressing gown and i bought one to milan i got a pair of gray sweatpants from h&m for 12.99 i had the biggest like meltdown with this bag situation so i ordered a bag from zara didn't really like it online i ordered it but i was like whatever you know i'll keep it and then go to lake and see if i find anything better bought a different bag in real zara then i went to pull and bear and i found this bag which i love and is 10 pounds cheaper than the one i already bought in zara so i had to go back to zara return the bag had to return the one i bought online but i've ended up with this really cute bag i want to take this off i hate that but 17 pounds the one i got in zara was 25 and this is so much nicer a new shade of foundation which is um, a lot paler from the ordinary and then i got a new white puffer coat because i don't have any puffer coats and this one is lined it was literally 30 quid from pull and bear okay hello i look way more presentable today than i did yesterday the room is covered in shoes and suitcases and stuff that i could bring last night i laid out all of the sh potential shoes and we're going to go through them later i also need to pack my evening looks but i wanted to show you a couple of them because i have links they're from revolve everything will be linked down below but they're really cute revolve are so good for party wear dresses the first dress i got is kind of like a matilda jerfi because it's got these strings up here with a bow and then sleeves if that makes sense the bow is what drew me to this i then got this jumpsuit which i believe grace also got but it's the kind of thing that you kind of need to see on so i'll have a photo of it but it's this really cool cat suit it kind of reminds me of the ysl one it's this really cool cat suit with pearls it's so glamorous and so new york i feel like a cat suit is such a sexy moment I feel like you can't get sexier than a cat suit, so I'm really excited to run round New York in this. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm obsessed. I love the pearls. I love everything about this jumpsuit. But yeah, it's the sort of thing you need to see on, so I'll have a photo of it on the screen. But I just love this, and I cannot wait to wear it. I then got this dress. It actually has a really similar style, because it's got pearls and it's black and it's velvet. But this is a dress, and it has little hearts going down it it's so cute and again i could style this so cute with like a nice shoulder bag and nice big chunky earrings can't wait to wear this and love the heart details on this one this is like the the ultimate carrie bradshaw running around new york dress it's literally a tutu long dress i cannot wait to run around new york in this and get photos it's so dramatic and i am just obsessed i think this might be my favorite it's really long as well i just think this is going to be so iconic in new york with some heels and just like running around the shops well, not around the shops but like running around the streets i thought i'd just update you guys on a few parcels that have arrived i've got some loafers these are Topshop and they I love silver at the moment I'm a gold girl like I wear gold jewelry but I literally love these shoes like I love silver bags I just love silver things so guys I also got a Carrie Bradshaw tutu so I'm gonna have to try to style this I don't know how I'm gonna style this probably just like a white crop top it's always been like my dream to order off revolve and they reached out and sent grace and i some dresses grace and i actually both got this jumpsuit so we're going to do a little matching moment we never tell each other what we get when we order stuff off brands so a lot of the time we end up matching i got this super cool kind of like 70s pink jumpsuit this one is heavy guys it's like full of diamonds oh <gasps> this is amazing let's see and then i got this one just a little one shoulder 
really cute sparkly dress very simple but like it feels such high quality okay guys we've come to the final stage everything is packed we've got one suitcase two suitcase and then that is my hand luggage situation i'm also allowed a bag so i've got three suitcases guys and basically i'm gonna do them up and i'm gonna get my dad to weigh them suitcases are now shut so we need to wait for the way in it is thursday which means we're bleaching our eyebrows i'm so nervous literally no one wants me to do this guys everyone in my family thinks i'm gonna look really ugly grace thinks i'm gonna look really ugly my mum thinks i'm gonna look really ugly and that is a possibility that i'm willing to take to be honest because i just think it's gonna look cool so i'm using this bleach by gypsy shine i also have developing drops if i need to like tone them oh she smells i'm also not sure how long i'm actually going to keep them on for um i literally i'm going to keep them on for like one minute and then because obviously i am blonde so i know they're just gonna go really really quick oh my god guys oh my god i'm literally shaking I would not be this nervous if I went to a salon to get it done, but I think it's the fact that I'm like doing it myself that I think is really freaking me out. This is so funny guys. I told Grace I'm doing it, but I feel like she doesn't actually believe I'm going to do it. And she's actually messaging me because she's having a drama about her eyelashes. And little does she know that I'm bleaching my eyebrows right now. The bleach is on. I'm feeling nervous, but yeah. So I'm going to time it for a minute. And then I'm going to take some off, see what it looks like. Ah! I have no eyebrows. All right. This is the current situation at hand. But I'm so glad that I took off the bleach when I did. Because I was actually going to leave the bleach on for a bit longer. What do we think, guys? I'm not even sure. I don't know. I still have eyebrows, guys. Don't worry. Like, I still definitely do have eyebrows. I can literally see them. Like, if you look really close, you can see the eyebrows. Obviously, I have literally no makeup on as well, which does not help matters. I feel like if I had, like, a full face of makeup on, these would look so much cooler. But I actually don't hate them. Like, I thought I was going to hate them a bit more. Let's get my mum's reaction, because my mum did not want me to dye my eyebrows. And she will be honest with me if she hates them. So, she's coming. it is the day before new york a lot has happened since i last vlogged i've got my lashes done i've got my nails done and i've got my toes done i just went for a classic french tip i also am trying to get rid of a breakout so i've got soda cream on my chin okay guys so i'm actually gonna end the vlog here um today's been a weird one i literally went out for some lunch with my mum and i've just been packing and everything like that so yeah my face is very orange because i think i had a reaction to the self tanning drops so yeah i'm gonna try and just like scrub that off <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and the next one we'll do will be when we are in new york which is so scary like i always get really really anxious before i leave and like before i leave my mum for a month but i know i'm gonna have a great time so i'll see you guys in new york